My name is James Cavanaugh, and today we'll be examining the works of Argentinian artist Luciana Abate and her use of water in her art. The two pieces we'll be focusing on today are part of the LUAG permanent collection. In our day-to-day -day lives, water is unexpressive. It comes out of the tap, runs in streams, and fills up our oceans. These things are universal, but can water mean more? Modern life would lead us to believe that water is most useful after it's gone pulling the plug in the bath, or eyeing up an empty carafe. How does something with no shape or color become a vector for meaning in works of art? Today we'll be examining two works from Luciana Abate's series, Underwater, in the Lehigh University Art Gallery that exhibit an artist's ability to create complex, stimulating art from elements that seem so simple. Luciana Abate was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Self-described as always making things, her passion for art fully bloomed in high school after spending time in museums and feeling connected to the artwork that she saw. After graduating from the Fine Arts University of Buenos Aires in 1997, Abite relocated to Miami, joining Art Center as a residential artist and launched her first solo exhibition at Jean Albino Gallery in 2001 in Chicago. During her time in Miami, she began using water as a focal point in her artwork. Currently, Abate lives in Santa Monica, where she is a resident artist at the 18th Street Art Center. The first piece we will examine is a photograph titled Anticipation. Here, as a viewer, we are placed underwater in a swimming pool, with a woman's feet tentatively dipped into the deep end at the water's edge. Across the frame is a ladder, towards which the subject's feet are pointed. This photograph captures a moment of peace, serenity, and stillness, a snapshot of a calm moment. But what other emotions does this image give to you? If you were to be transported into the photograph, would you feel welcome, or would you feel like an outsider? When asked about her inspiration for the series, Abate said the ubiquity of the Miami sky and sea sparked her desire to depict elements of nature in their pure forms. Do you feel that this picture exhibits that desire? What makes you feel that way? The other work we'll examine is from the same collection, untitled Step 2. In this image, the viewer is much closer to the surface, with a stepladder in the center of the frame whose reflection extends upwards, distorting as it gets further from the object. Looking at the ladder, do you think the ladder is the focus, or the reflection? Does the reflection feel like an extension of the ladder, or do you see the reflection as its own object? Why do you think she chose to feature it in such a way? While studying in Argentina, Abate trained under artist Attilo Liguzzi, known for his expressionism and magic realism. She also spent time under the tutelage of Ladislaw Kieliti, a surrealist and abstractionist. Do you see any of those influences in this piece? When asked about the intention of her work, Abate said she intends to create the sensation of witnessing a new visual nature through the creation of photo-based manipulated landscapes by presenting things in a poetic and surreal manner. Knowing that, does your impression of the two pieces change? Water, by itself, may not carry much meaning, but the same things that make it unremarkable is what allowed Luciana Abate to create expressive, thought-provoking art that shows if you look at the glass half full, there's a lot more to see. 